Natalie McGarry is the co-founder of Women for Independence. Good evening to you, Natalie. Why do you think Good that evening. is? Uh, well, we've said all along, our campaign's been going on for over two years. Uh, we were quite clear from the very beginning that we thought um, many women would take longer to make up their minds. They would look at the facts and decide on the balance closer to the referendum. Um, a lot of women uh, had decided early on uh, and they have been out campaigning for both sides. But a large uh, percentage of women were waiting to hear the arguments from both sides, perhaps a bit canny. Um, and in the last month, we've really seen a, a huge engagement in our campaign campaign with more women coming out and um, being from passive uh, yeses to really wanting to get involved uh, with the campaign uh, with Women for Independence and I think part of the reason for that is that they've been able to weigh up some of the offers uh, and the narratives that have come from both the yes and no campaigns and uh, very much uh, from what we're hearing uh, there is the, the the interpretation that the No campaign have been neglectful of women or taking them for granted. Uh, you know, women have looked to be uh, more likely to vote for the union for many months uh, and so they've taken their eye off the ball. And where we've been doing a lot of grassroots work, speaking to women in their communities with over 40 local groups, the No campaign haven't been able to replicate that or, or to create the enthusiasm and the conversation about a new narrative, a new Scotland, what we can achieve together and what powers we need to do that. What we don't know, though, is what currency uh, a new Scotland, as you put it, will have. And we hear today from the Governor of the Bank of England that a currency union is incompatible with independence. So what do you and what do you think women in Scotland will make of that? Yeah, women in Scotland are, are, are weighing up the different options and listening to the different narratives. I mean, I'm very clear that I think that the, the UK government have been politicking over the currency uh, in order to keep people in the dark. Yeah, I think the, they did that the governor under the of the EU. Bank of England hasn't been politicking. He, he has no need to scaremonger, does he? Uh, I mean, I think that when the, the referendum is a yes result, and I'm quite confident it is a yes result, I think we're going to see a different uh, tactic from the rest of the UK because I'll be very clear, uh, a currency union is not just in the interest, the best interest of the people in Scotland, it's in the best interest of the rest of the UK as well. And I think once we get out of this posturing stage where you hear a lot of men's voices, um, then we're going to hear uh, a different narrative, different talking, but people are going to be arguing different positions because politics uh, will, will pa put, pass way for actual uh, economic realities. And I think we've seen some of that this week. Well, actually, uh, Natalie, the latest economic reality is that when it looked like, yes, voters were surging ahead, the value of the pound went down, affecting everybody in the United Kingdom as it stands. Yeah, and I think part of the reason for that is there's uncertainty caused by politicking at Westminster. Had uh, the, the, the Westminster government and uh, George Osborne been very clear that there would have been uh, a, a currency union, which I think that there will be from the very beginning, we wouldn't be in this position of uncertainty. And I think that that goes back to um, the Westminster taking Scottish voters for granted. They have looked at the opinion polls and haven't looked at what's actually going on in Scotland. And so they've sought comfort uh, through the fear tactics of, of better together in Westminster and they haven't really addressed the fact that on the ground in Scotland something very different is happening, something that's not party political, it's much wider than that, it's a movement and so they've been caught unprepared okay. and I think had they realised the reality of this they would have prepared better and been more financially astute about it. Well both sides have got nine days to go, Natalie McGarry many thanks indeed. Thank you.